few customers have called in asking why their dimmers aren't working with their light fixtures, or even how to wire a dimmer. We're here to help, so here I'm going to show you how easy this fix is just by using the right kind of dimmer to properly dim your LED lighting. Now not every dimmer will work with any light. Some people have called with concerns of flickering or humming noises. They're probably using LED CFL dimmers, which are commonly sold in hardware stores, but will not work with our commercial grade LED lights. So when you're shopping for one, make sure to look for a 0 to 10 volt dimmer. We recommend the Lutron Diva 0 to 10 volt dimmer, which has a max load of 450 watts. It's compatible with many of our fixtures, including truffers, linear and uniform high bays, and flat panels, which we're going to be using for our demonstration. The black wire is the input for the live end. The red wire is the output for the live end. This red-white wire is used for three-way switches, which we won't be using. The green wire is the ground wire. And finally, the violet wire is the positive dimming wire, while the gray is the negative dimming wire. Now before we get started, I'd like to remind you to shut off the main power before any on-site operations and wiring, which must be done by a licensed electrician. So here's your disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. Here we're using a wall jack as a power supply, which will not come into play during your actual installation. For this demo, we also used extension wires and connected the live wire to the ACL input, the neutral wire to the ACN input, and the positive and negative extension wires to the respective dimming inputs. Connect the dimmer's red wire to the fixture's live wire and the dimmer's black wire to the main power line. Tap the fixture's neutral wire together with the main power line's neutral wire. Cap off the red-white wire and connect the green wire to a ground. Connect the violet wire to the positive dimming wire and the gray wire to the negative dimming wire. If you want to wire multiple fixtures to a single dimmer, plug in extension wires the same way, remove the wire caps, and twist in the extension wires to the dimmer wires. Remember, it's neutral to neutral, live wire to red wire, and dimming wires to their respective polarities. So to recap, the main power's live wire, colored brown here, goes to the black wire, while the red wire connects to your fixture by the live wires. All neutral wires are tapped together. We're going to cap off the red-white wire because it's for a three-way switch. We've also capped off the ground wire, but you'll need to remember to ground it. The gray wire is the negative, which will go to the negative dim input. And finally, the violet wire here will go to the positive dim input. So as you can see, the dimming scales pretty well here. Keep it all the way up at 10 volts and it'll give you full output. Slide down to say halfway and you'll get 50% output. Great thing about this is that when you lower the output, you also lower the energy draw so you'll get that little bit of extra savings. Hopefully this video gave you some guidelines on how to get your commercial lights to dim. As always, you can go to highquality.com for all your commercial lighting needs and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn for news and updates. Thanks for watching.